Previously on Intrigue. Race, are you gonna help me raise this baby or not? No! Captain at the dock trying to run away, are you? Francis. Brace. Brinksman. What brings you two around here? Same as ever, Race. We're trying to get you to stay and be a man. Be a husband and a father. Impossible. Nobody who makes Race Brinksman stay anywhere. Race, you told me you were a real man and you're trying to run away from your child? What is this? Child? Race Jr. We've looked in his little eyes while he goo goo ga ga at us, and we said, we're bringing your daddy home. Your sister's kid? Yes, and it would love to know his father. That baby's not mine. That baby is your sister's. And yours, Race. <laughs> Tell your sister congratulations I from will. Race Brinksman. I would expect more of you. As a sailor, you know, child, your anchor should keep you ashore, but you're trying to leave. A real man supports his family, loves his wife and money. A real man takes your wife's last name. Oh, I'll take that last name and I'll throw it into the trash with the rest of the Van Brandt family. You know what, maybe you're both right. Maybe I do have a wife. Maybe I have a kid. My wife is the ocean. My child is this boat, Dalton. And we've been everywhere together. We've seen all kinds of things, things you couldn't even imagine. What happens when life and your baby catches up to you on a faster boat, a boat with a motor? Impossible. Dalton is the fastest boat in the ocean. Nobody catches Dalton, especially with Race Springsman behind the wheel. Kerbeth, I know a coward when I see one. Stand down, Francis. Stand up, Francis. Stand down, Francis. Stand up, Francis. Stand down. Stand up. Keep standing. Down. Stand. Stop. Stand. I've had it with you. Race, you did it again. What you always do. <laughs> you windswept, sea salty son of a bitch. My god. Captain Starboard, what kind of storm is this? This... This be no storm. Not a storm. Moments ago it was sunny. Now it's darker than a coal miner's keister. Aye, it be dark. And that is because this be a place, lad. And it may be sunny, back from whence we came. But this, this be a different place altogether. I've heard tale of a place such as this, the darkness dimension, a place entirely alien from everything we know, where the water runs blood red, where the sky screams, where fell beasts drop from cracks in the sky, direct from the throne of Satan himself. Captain, take me back to Martha's Vineyard. I have a wedding to plan, and I don't have a signal out here. Martha's Vineyard, don't you understand, lad? You'll be lucky if you ever return to Earth! Look ye upon the horizon. Look ye upon the blood-red sun that stains the sky blood-red, red as the arterial blood that runs in ye gullet. Look ye upon the crack in the sky from which dragons are born. Off the aft end of the ship a fathom down, you'll see fish 
with hands. I knew always I would arrive here one day. Me mother and me pa told me I'd be here one day and it would claim me bones. But it'll never claim me soul, Sasha Van Brandt. Mark me words, it will never claim me soul. Yeah, that all sounds pretty technical. I'm gonna go back below decks and do party drugs with my golden retrievers. Wake me when we've landed back in Martha's Vineyard. Party drugs. Oi. I've got a feeling you'll be doing party drugs for quite a long time. Curse ye! Curse ye, gods of this infernal, damnable darkness dimension! Ye gods may smite me down where I stand, and ye may claim my bones, but ye shall never have my soul! Triton, Poseidon, and Jesus Christ, deliver me from this darkness dimension, from these accursed fish, these damnable fish, what look at me with their eyes, and what are clapping their hands, clapping their hands, rejoicing, for they've got the bones of Whitney Starboard, but you'll never have me soul. Me soul belongs to me one, me only king, Jesus Christ! Mm, I cannot believe that deadbeat race left me high and dry. Victoria, where's your baby? What baby? Oh! My ba yes, my baby is at home with the help. I cannot be expected to do everything, Bianca, okay? Hey, well, I've worked for everything I have. I do everything myself. Okay, well, I'm sorry. It's partially Race's baby. He should be here. He should be taking it. I can't be expected to be a full-time mother. No. I have priorities. I have appointments. I have things I need to do. And this baby, he should be stepping up, stepping in, being a man. Yes. You know what I do? Yeah. Is that I, when a man opens the door for me, I walk right through. But if he closes it, I just get another man to open the door for me. Okay, well, I don't necessarily have knee pads at the ready to just welcome any man into my life, okay? I chose race, he should be honored, and now he's leaving me. I can see why. Oh my God, Bianca. Okay, Vicky? Bianca? Vicky? Bianca. Don't make me go there, okay? I haven't slapped a woman in a very long time. Bartender, I'll have another, please. Right away, sir. You know what? Send a couple of glasses to those lovely ladies over there. I'll send it with your regards. Compliments of the gentleman at the bar. Mm. Mm, well, he looks dangerous. He does look fun. I'd climb him like the flagpole outside of the country club. I remember when you used to do that. Mm, the good old days. I hope he's rich. Mm. For your sake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the money, but it'd be nice. You know what, honey? Let's go over there. It smells like something died over here. 